for this question, it involves comparing the properties of the three different matters. And since this question is slightly more complicated, involving us having to analyze the experiment, infer from the results, and actually craft an answer, it will be good if students have actually a structure to follow when writing their answer to make sure that all key points are covered and the answer is presented comprehensively. So for this question, I'll be using the ABC technique, which I will go into detail later. So now let's first look at the question together. Okay, Jamie prepared three different, three identical syringes and filled them with different types of matter, A, B, and C respectively. She placed her index finger to cover the mouth of the syringe and pushed the piston as shown in the diagram. Now she recorded the distance moved by the piston for each syringe in the table. And we actually see that for A, the piston moved by zero cm, doesn't move at all. For B, it moved really little by 0 0.1 cm. And for C, it moved the most out of all of the three syringes, it moved by 0 0.5 cm. So the question further reveals that Jamie used air, carbonated drink, and sand in the experiment and asked us what is A, B, and C respectively and to explain how we came to that conclusion. So in this setup, when Jamie pushes on the piston, okay, what is she trying to find out? She's trying to find out whether the matter within can be compressed. And whether or not the matter within can be compressed depends on whether the matter has a definite volume. Should it have a definite volume, it will not be able to be compressed. But if it does not have a definite volume, it will be able to be compressed. So let's once again look at the material that she used air, carbonated drink, and sand. So we can quickly write that for air. It is a gas. And we know that gas has, does not have a definite volume. And so it will be able to be compressed. For sand, which is a solid. It has a definite volume and it will not be, compressed, be compressible. Finally, for the carbonated drink, this is slightly tricky because carbonated drinks like Coca-Cola, like Sprite, they are liquids. But they also consist, they also contain a small amount of air bubbles within. So the liquid on its own has a definite volume, cannot be compressed. But the fact that there are air bubbles within the liquid, okay, allows for some amount of compression because air can be compressed. So how do we actually present our answer? in such a way that all the key points are covered, okay, we will take the ABC approach, which is we answer with choice, which is we answer the question, what is A, B, and C respectively. We back up our answer with evidence from the table, so how much the distance moved in each case. And finally, we confirm with concept. What is the key concept that allowed us to arrive at our answer? So let's look at the answer. Okay, for A, the answer is sand. The evidence being the piston moved by 0 cm, it didn't move. And the concept is sand is a solid which has a definite volume. Since it, since it that has a definite volume, it will not be able to be compressed and the piston cannot be pushed. Moving on, B will be the carbonated drink. Why? Because the evidence tells us that the piston moved by a small distance. And the concept is carbonated drink is a liquid, but it has air bubbles inside, which does not have a definite volume and can be compressed. So the carbonated drink can be compressed to a small extent. Finally, for C, it is air. Why? 
because we observed that the piston moved the greatest distance. And the concept being air does not have a definite volume, and so it can be compressed, allowing the piston to be pushed the most. So the fact that for this question, um, that carbonated drink is used, it actually brings the difficulty level up by a notch. Now, parents should take note that an extension of the question can be, if B was water, will the piston be able to move? Now, if B is water, take note that the piston will not be able to move because water is a liquid which has a definite volume and cannot be compressed. So this question is really quite a handful. So do take some time to digest how I approached the question, how I analyzed it, and how I finally came up with the answer using the ABC. 